right. Thanks for joining us today, Kevin. T Kevin Mensa, running back for University of Connecticut. Thanks for joining us, Kevin. No, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Um, so I guess I'll start with like some, like a first question, I guess is, um, I just kind of want to ask about like what your experience with, uh, like Yukon is and like, like what was like your first like initial thoughts going in when they like recruited you? Um, so yeah, so, uh, you know, I was a late recruit, so they recruited like in like July of like 2017, right after I graduated, uh, high school and stuff like that and uh they told me that you know they were interested and they told me straight up like you know you come to UConn you know you'll, be, you'll have the opportunity to uh play early you know that was an opportunity that I didn't want to miss you know I mean they showed love the most since um January of my senior year of high school so I mean you know I I feel like to pay them respect you know I had to get I had to go there and commit and get them all I got so you know it's been going well so far so and like going up to you know now you're senior year what's like a team that you like really look forward to like playing that you just know like that's going to be a good game uh clemson next year yeah, yeah. yeah what what like what um what in the past and like present have you like seen like that you've been like this is like a sort of a small rivalry where you're like in in for it um i'd say the umass game obviously you know that, that's a, that's a game that that's always like you know a rivalry that's cool and um I don't think there was a lot of games that we played that was like it felt like it was rivalry, you know what I mean? But uh, I would say UMass and and East to you, East Carolina, yeah. Those games. Especially especially UMass for you, right? Playing the playing the home state and everything. I'm sure you know a lot of the, a lot of the guys at UMass and everything. Yeah, so. last year it was a fun experience, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then your fr your freshman year, you played at uh, Fenway Park too, so I'm sure I'm sure that was yeah. Yep. Yeah, against BC. Yeah, but so I'm sure I'm sure that was a lot of fun too. Again, playing another home state team and everything. <laughs> for sure, yeah, <laughs> that's good memories. <laughs> yeah, especially for you. I mean, that was that was your best game your freshman year, right? Yeah. So I was really. I feel like that was a really kind of good game for you just to to break out, especially again against a home state team. So yeah, yeah I know I know you touched upon it a little bit, but just talk talk a little bit more about your recruiting process. What it was like for you and kind of being that late bloomer, like you mentioned. Yeah, so, you know, just growing up, you know, growing up and something that totally you know, you know, you don't, we don't really get the shine over there. So, you know, you got to grind extra harder, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. you know, Coach Pelka gave me the opportunity, you know, go to camps and stuff like that. So, you know, I took the opportunity, you know, showcase my talent and just, you know, just trusting it, trusting his words and, um, you know, just doing the right things, you know, just focusing on, you know, School and school and I can't lie. School was very you know tough for me, but focusing on school and um just doing the right things and just you know getting things that you want at the end of the at the end goal. So you know, but like school was tough and so like schools were, were recruiting at me. Like a lot of schools were recruiting me. You know, like a lot of big schools and um I was I was actually people don't know this, but I was ready to go to Michigan my senior year, and uh, that didn't happen. So I ended up going to UConn, and uh, ever since that, you know, it's been. Like I said, it's been going well. Right, right. Is there anything that kind of going back that you wish you did differently or anything that you could wish you could tell, you know, kids who are going through the recruiting process right now? Uh, just great. Uh, school is very important. You know, mm -hmm. without school, you know, there's no football. So yeah. you know, make sure that education is very important to you. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely been a common theme for all of our guests is they keep, they keep hammering the grades because, I mean, if you – the better grades you have, you know, the more opportunities you're going to have exactly. for yourself. Exactly. Uh, not only where you feel, you know, it translated on the field. The more prepared you feel in the classroom, the more prepared you feel like on the field. You know what I mean? So exactly. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, just because we're on the topic of being, you know, uh, school schoolwork being important, right? Like student athlete and your student first, right? Um, I saw what your major was, and I kind of wanted to ask you, like, what that entails. <laughs> Uh, the human development family science. Oh, on the on the site on the on UConn, it it uh it describes you as Mike. What is it again? I don't have... Was it? I think it was exploratory study. Oh, yeah. Because oh, they, I was probably they still haven't updated that. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They haven't updated that. But uh, I transferred to a human development family science, and uh, my minor is uh, public policy. 
Oh, that's pretty sick. So, like, what do you sort of plan to, like... So, it's, like, what... it's, not, it's not, like, an end route to a law school. So, I mean... Okay. I, yeah, oh. so I'm big on, like, you know, just, like, the laws and stuff like that. I don't really like to talk about the political, you know, political stuff like that. But I like to learn about it and stuff like that. So. Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so, as a running back... Right. I kind of was curious. Um, like, what kind of running back do you see yourself? Like, who, who do maybe, like, you could, like, contextualize in the NFL or some other player that you maybe compare, compare yourself to in playing style? Um, shoot. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me think. Um, this is because there's a lot of backs that I would say, uh, I see myself like he's an old back, not right now, but I could use old back, right? You know, yeah, of, yeah, of course. So Ricky Williams, one of my favorite backs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, I mean, he might, like I see myself in him, and like I see the game that he plays and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Perfect. What uh, what what in his game do you think is similar to yours? His power and his speed. You know, I feel like we have the same power and speed, and then just as like awareness, you know, and just like seeing the hole so quick, you know, just being patient too. Right, right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm kind of curious as this for this as just coming from an offensive mind as a quarterback and as a coach now too. What's your, what's your favorite run play? You know, do you, are you an inside zone guy, power, sweep, or what do you, what you know, what do you like? Um, uh, so I, I like everything, but I'm, a, I'm a power guy. I like power. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, you like, you like, you must like that pulling guard coming around, <laughs> coming yeah. around, right? Yeah. I mean, like high school, I, was, I ran double wing, so yeah. Guard, pulling <laughs> <laughs> right right now do you what about what about a certain formation you like out of the eye with when you know the full but you got the fullback leading spread, um spread you know i like spread i like like i said the eye pistol, yep. all that i like the downhill running and stuff like that but like you can you can use a lot of you can use you can do a lot of things out of that formation too so that's good yeah yeah absolutely what about what about a favorite a favorite route that you like to run out of the backfield uh, I route. Yeah, I say out route. Yeah. And uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I had had to ask that one. Being a quarterback, you know, <laughs> yeah. I like I like running backs that can catch. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> our running back, our running back last year was our uh, fourth leading receiver. He had he had thirty five catches. So <laughs> yeah, I definitely like running backs that can catch for sure. Um, no, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Um. Something that I kind of was also curious about was, um, you know, I always kind of look at the NFL and kind of, you always, t- people always talk about all these quarterbacks dealing with, you know, the new, new guys and like how they train them, how they take them in under their wing and stuff. And I just was curious for you in a college setting, you know, there's always kind of like, I feel like a large turnaround of always new people coming in as people graduate and stuff like that. And I was wondering what, you're sort of doing as kind of the senior role to, to help prepare these younger guys that are coming up? Uh, you know, I don't really like to talk a lot, so I lead by example, you know what I mean? So you're just doing the right things, you know, being the first of class, you know, just doing, just never hearing your name on like a bad list or anything, you know what I mean? And it's just being the leader on, on the football team. You know, if you show the young kids that, you know, they want to grow up and be like, hey, I want to be like that, you know what I mean? And, like, you know, mm-hmm. I, want to, I want to be that type of leader, you know, for the team. And then it goes a long way for the team, and it helps us win, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it's, I think it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely good to have um, leaders like yourself where you're just, you're just going to work and you're just going to show by example. Um, not, not everyone's going to be the, the rah-rah type of guy like a Tim Tebow firing up everyone in the locker room, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know you need you need the guys that are just gonna go to work and lead by examples like like you said the younger the younger guy is gonna see that and they're gonna be like all right i want to be like this guy so what do i gotta do i gotta work right and if you have, if you have a lot of those guys that's how you win too so I mean, yeah exactly that's that creates that creates winning creates that culture so yeah absolutely did you now did you have anyone uh whether it was at uconn uh shepherd hill your high school experience did you have anyone that was kind of key in your life uh, for as a mentor that kind of brought you along? Yeah, uh, I had a couple uh, at Shepherd Hill, you know, Sean McEwen and then uh, Christian Lindstrom. You know, they were, they were like mentors. Yep. They always like kept track on me. 
I wanted to make sure I was doing well in all in high school and stuff like that. And right, um, right. also, my, I have a family friend, Isaac Gattam. I'm sure you know yep. who he is. Yep, yeah, yep. Every day, so just keep them talking, just keeping that connection. Yeah. That's awesome. What about anyone at anyone at UConn? I know you had some guys early in your career who, you know, were very good players. Or you got you had David Pendel oh, um, for absolutely. one. David Pendel, uh, you, you know, I talked to David uh, Foley, Foley for the Jets, um, and then um, Matt Pert, who just got drafted to the uh, Giants. So, you know, I yeah. keep in contact with all three of them, you know, make sure they do well and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. I mean, all those all those names you just mentioned, man, I mean, they're all – they're all they've all been in the NFL they're in the NFL right now so those are definitely guys to kind of keep around you and you know like a lot of like a lot of people say is you want to surround yourself with with people you know like yourself who are on the who are on the same mission as you so I think that's that's awesome that's that's definitely a great um great way to approach I like that a lot uh so just kind of like coming up to speed we've kind of talked about a lot of you know your path you know some of the past stuff and recruiting and things now um what do you like kind of see you know how do you feel about like the program now that you're going through like all this covid stuff and like have like how are you adjusting and like trying to stay busy uh just like you know grinding you know doing everything you know just like staying on top of the classroom you know just taking the food as if it was like a spring off season, you know what I mean? You know, just just grinding, you just just doing just doing like what you what you would do in the spring. You, you know, you guys know how it is, you know, just like schoolwork, you know, off season workouts and you know, just keeping your head down, you know, just not trying to think of like, you know, the season that's you know, the season that was supposed to happen, you know what I mean? Think about the next season. Think about how you're gonna get better, you know what I mean? So we try to take that approach every day. Yes. Yeah. Are you guys still like, you know, being able to like interact with each other and like train and like do pra- like small practices and like so yeah yeah we did like a mini spring spring like a spring practice uh just recently we just had to cut it cut it short because of uh, the cases that were going on in school so they had to shut down the school but yeah we ended up getting good workout good working and um you know you could see guys improving and stuff like that so we just got to keep having that same approach and you know, on to the next season you know what I mean? so, yeah because yeah, like once you kind of see like where everybody's been since the off season, you kind of like fix and like help each other, like alter stuff. And then they can work on it now that they're on their own. That's great. That's, that's really the, that's really the only thing you can do is just, you know, control what you can control, just kind of put your head down. And I mean, like you said, you guys just treat it like a, like it's a spring season. That's, that's what so many teams had to do. Obviously, you know, it was like the fall was our everyone's spring season, which which is kind of weird. Um, But you know, just got to make the most out of it. Can't think about the whole COVID ruining the whole season. I mean, exactly, exactly. So something, something I'm wondering. You know, different different guys are motivated by different factors. So I'm just wondering. You know, what what motivates you to to want to be better and just to be great? Uh, you know, my family. It's just being the, being able to just provide for them, and being able to have the opportunity to provide for them, and you know, in the future, and that makes me just keep going because you know. I'll be, I, you know, I'll be able, I'll be the one to, you know, change their life and stuff like that. So, you know, that keeps me going. Right. Absolutely. That's awesome. Um, now, do you, yeah, no, go for it. Mike. Now, do you have a, I just thought of this. Now, do you have a favorite game or a favorite moment that you've had at UConn? Favorite game? Oh. Uh, Yeah, I'd say the game against you it wasn't at, at UConn. Does it have to be at UConn? No, just just any any game in your career. I'd say, I'd say the game against UMass last year. Yeah, because you know that was I don't know it was just personal to me, so I felt like that was a game that I had to go off. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. The five touchdowns. <laughs> <laughs> just have yourself a day. <laughs> um. So, like, uh, I was just sort of thinking, too, like, what is, like, some pregame rituals? Everybody's kind of got one. And I was just curious, like, what yours is. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, so, I like to listen to <laughs> – it's funny. Um, so, at the hotel, I like to listen to uh, just, like, like calm, calm music, you know, like meditation music. And then I'll switch it to uh, pop music as we get near the stadium. I won't listen to rap until we get on the field, though, because I, I – 
you know what I mean? Because I don't like to get amped up right before, you know. I like to get amped up as close to the game as possible. Mm-hmm. So. And um, I, won't, I won't talk to anyone. <laughs> I, like to, I like to be alone. <laughs> and, um, you know, once we get on the field and uh, start, to start to do the uh, pregame warm-ups and stuff like that, you know, th- that, that's when I start to get amped up. So, yeah, it takes me a while, but, yeah. <laughs> Hell, yeah, you get that, like, kind of uh, the – warm up like stadium music playing and you just get hyped up and all of a sudden that pre-workout's kicking in and you're like feeling it (laughs) exactly exactly so um on the same kind of lighter note too is i i was curious of like what kind of stuff you've been like doing like what's like a hobby that you kind of have like when you're like not grinding away for grades and like working on the field and stuff like you know, you're playing like Madden, 2K and stuff. Like, what do you like? What's your jam? So, uh, I used to be a video game guy, but now I like to like, just like, so I have like a little piano that I like to play. So I've been learning how to play the piano. So like, just, 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 it's more, more so for like meditation and just like, just relaxing. So I, I like to like, just play the piano and like, just make my, make my own like instruments and my own beat stuff like that. So yeah. Oh yeah. We're going to be dropping beat tapes soon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, send over the sample packs. We'll make something killer. Got you, got you. <laughs> what about some stuff that um, you know you've done throughout your career uh, in the off season as far as training? What are some things that have have seen that you've noticed have helped you out a lot? Uh, whether it's you know different things in the weight room, on the field, uh, film, like any anything like that. What's what are some things that have helped you? Film. Um, you know, just learning the game. Because you know, as you get older, the game gets faster and the game gets more, you know, technical and stuff like that. So you just got to know what you got. You just got to know. You, you got to know what you got to – you got to know what you're doing on the field and you got to feel com- confident, you know what I mean? So so just learning more more of the game, learning more of what you have to do, you know, more learning more. Say if you're an offensive guy, learning what the defense does, you know what I mean? Learning what type of coverage they bring and stuff like that. So the more confidence, the more confidence you have in yourself, the more you'll feel – ready to go out there and play and give it all you got. You know what I mean? More you know. Yeah, hundred percent. I, I, like you said, as you get older, you start to realize the importance of that. And that's how it was for me as a player. Um, you know, the older I got, the more I realized how important film is. And I think that's something that um, a lot of younger guys in college and a lot of high school guys, they don't appreciate the value of film and right. um, those kind of mental reps. Um, to, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think I think you know too many too many guys worry about how much they're benching in the weight room. Um, obviously, obviously the weight room stuff, that's that's all important, but you also gotta uh, value stuff like film just as much. You gotta have that balance, right? Pretty much, you know, you gotta have weight room, do field work, film work. It all balances. Um, so just finding that balance, I think, is something that you know a lot of guys don't value. You know, um, but yeah. Um, what else? Anything else that have, have really helped you in the off season um, over the years? Oh, you know, just tra- training at all of my facility at uh, Westboro College. C. I'm, I'm sure you heard a, a couple, a little bit about it, but you know, just training there. You know, they, they've been helping me getting right. You know, what I mean, with my speed and just body lifting, and then like I said, film and stuff like that. So I mean, I recommend you know athletes out there. I recommend you guys go there. You know. Not trying to help them, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you said you said uh, exceed, right? Exceed, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been there a couple of times. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Know. <laughs> oh yeah, no, they they do a great job. They do a great job for sure. But um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I I kind of was curious about um earlier you mentioned kind of about how important it is about schoolwork and all that other stuff um and making sure that the other guys you know are like staying on top of that now is there like you know within UConn and like a little bit about the culture of everything is is there just are you constantly like kind of just checking up on them or are you just doing a thing where it's like you can just sort of send them to some place on campus that can help them sort of like some sort of like advisory kind of place to help them like stay on track a little bit better. So yeah, so like we have like a team uh you know like a team of student athlete uh advisor team. So like you know, so like it's not our it's our duty to help them be on task on task get but like if they want extra more if they want more help, you know what I mean, 
they they know who to contact and stuff like that. So we make sure, but we do stay on t- on top of them with like as sure as like you know making sure you know okay contact your advisor if you need help. You know what I mean? Contact them if you need a tutor stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like we're just telling them to do what they need to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, do you guys have a like for like? I've seen it at some colleges, but not everybody does it. But have you ever had like for like the freshmen like? Um, I've seen some schools have like, like once a week, they kind of like force them all as freshmen to go do like study hall, essentially. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Being a freshman, Cause you know, it's your first year being. Yeah. So yeah, they definitely get, they get it hard. Yeah. So, <laughs> but yeah, it's <laughs> like, it's like, yeah, it's, it's like study hall every day, every week for, for, for like the first two months. But then like, then once they get the hang of it and stuff like that, then, then they ease off. Like yeah, making sure they're accountable and stuff. And, exactly. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's as you know, as you know, Kevin. That's definitely a, a, a tough adjustment going from high school to college. With the, just the demands of being being a student athlete. Um, do you have any D one? Oh too. yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, do you have any? Do you have any suggestions for you know seniors going into their college year? You know, um, that that might help them. Yeah, I mean, prepare like you're going to prepare like you're going into a game next week, you know what I mean? Have that edge, you know what I mean? Have that fight that you want to, you know, play your freshman year, you know, and just not not only think about football, but think about education. Think about how you're going to attack the classroom your freshman year, you know what I mean? Think about how you're going to study. Think about the habits you're going to do, you know what I mean? And then if you can do that, on the, like I said, you can do that on the, in the classroom, that'll translate onto the field. And the more confidence you have, you know, the more, the more fast you can play on the field and the more – the more you impress people, you know what I mean? So just, just have confidence and just do, just do the right things on in the classroom and it'll all translate onto the field, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, I think that's that's awesome advice for sure. Um, yeah, I completely agree. Now, my – this is probably our last question, but, you know, where do you, where do you see your football career ending up? What do you ultimately want to achieve for it? Yeah, I, well, yeah you, know, you know the goal. The goal, the goal is to go to the league, so – you know, I've been been doing, been training extra hard. You know, staying, grind, staying my head, putting my head down, grinding. You know, hope for, waiting for the next season because you know I'm ready to show people what I got. Right, right, absolutely, absolutely. Um, if you if you had a particular team that you'd want to go to, who would it be? <laughs> uh, dang, that's 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 crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna see this video soon. Uh, <laughs> now nah, I'll say the Pats. Okay. This, Hometown. How, yeah. How this yeah. Year, how sound they are. And I grew up in like a in like a system like that, so it brings back memories. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No. <laughs> now when uh when when the when the past draft do we'll we'll play back this clip and and we'll say that you predicted it. God willing. <laughs> I'll go through all the footage and create yeah. a nice highlight clip and like make a hype video. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's awesome. But that's uh well, do you have any do you have any other questions? Um I not really like think of right now. Okay. Well that's that's all we got, Kevin. Uh really appreciate you. Appreciate you coming on, taking the time. Thank you for having me on the podcast, man. Thank you for having me on TV Velocity. I love it. Absolutely, absolutely.